What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video. So Tyron Matthew is officially finally going to sign somewhere and that being the New Orleans Saints. So today, of course, today we're going to be doing a Tyron Matthew New Orleans Saints revealed. Before we get in today's video though, guys, if you could drop a like, of course, subscribe if you're new around here, that would be greatly appreciated. We did just reach 3000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much for that. Uh, but today, like I said, we are doing the Jets. So today was actually supposed to be the start of the New Look Rebuild series, which is going to be super realistic, where I'm going to try to make it as realistic as possible. The reason, the difference between a New Look Saints and a Tyron Matthew Saints, like I said, uh, it's going to be realistic. The New Look series is going to be realistic, while this one may be a little unrealistic today. We'll, we'll figure it out. But today, let's look at the Saints roster. So, of course, they got Chris Olave. They traded up to get him. They actually made a trade with my Washington Commanders, and they got Trevor Pinning as well in the first round. And then on the defense, they got Alante Taylor in the second round. And then they made some other additions. But this roster I have only has uh, rounds one through four. Uh, so I'm not sure if the Saints even had a third or a fourth rounder. It didn't look like it when I looked up. Well, it looked it up just now, but uh, I could be totally wrong. But regardless, uh, the Saints got better. Adding Tyron Matthew to this team, obviously hometown kid from LSU. So Tyron Matthew, CJ Garner, Johnson, Marcus May. Definitely a better safety core now that they lost Marcus Williams. That was a huge void that he lost and obviously replaced it with a guy like Tyron Matthews. So this Saints roster is ready to compete once again. The biggest question mark is how good will Jameis Winston be for this roster? We'll have to figure that out. Do we have to draft a replacement eventually? And then we'll go from there. But I do want to go ahead and put Taysom Hill at tight end for the video just because I think uh, that's awesome. So we'll move Taysom Hill to tight end. And we have Crystal Lobby, who I actually want to be like, the slot wide receiver, you got crit or actually second wide receiver is fine with me as well. So let's make sure. Yeah, uh, we got that. So second wide receiver, but for this first season, not going to be doing much of anything. I just kind of want to see how the Saints roster does with Tyron Matthew joining them. And of course their draft picks. And uh, like I said, we probably will be a little unrealistic today, uh, which is why it's the difference between a new look Saints and then a Tyron Matthew Saints, although it's the same roster, but let's go ahead and simulate this season. And uh, let's see how the Saints roster performs and see make the playoffs and let's see if Jameis Winston is the answer here going forward so at the end of the season this team only went eight and nine which is somewhat disappointing apparently we have negative 38 million dollars in cap space so uh that's gonna be rough on us but uh we'll have to figure it out see what we can do so we're gonna upgrade everybody there 55 players were upgraded and let's go look at the stats and kind of see what went wrong here so if Jameis Winston was underwhelming then of course we'll move on from him but he doesn't look like he was offense was 12th in the NFL defensively we kind of struggled so Jameis Winston actually not a terrible year all things considered 36 touchdowns 14 interceptions not too bad actually rushing wise Alvin Kamara 1200 yards 16 touchdowns and Jameis Winston had 188 rushing yards as well receiving Michael Thomas really good year seven touchdowns 1400 yards Taysom Hill at tight end dropped 900 yards and 10 touchdowns That's what I'm talking about then Chris Olave coming in 866 yards three touchdowns Alvin Kamara was 670 yards defensively sacks wise we had 15 from karen jordan 10 from marcus davenport six from david three and a half from street and then uh one from demar davis one or half from pete warner and half from marshawn Lattimore. interceptions we had three from davis three from warner three from matthew and two from cj garner johnson so yeah we're gonna have to get better and it does look like we have a lot of avenues to get better especially if we have literally negative cap space that's gonna be tough on us and i don't really know Who's going to be a free agent this offseason? I'm not sure where the negative cap space is coming from. Yeah, we literally have negative cap money. So we're going to have to figure this out. So let's see how we can fix this. Now, this will be interesting to see how I can do this. And I don't really know who's going to be a free agent for this team. But we're definitely going to have to make some tough decisions. So eight and nine, we might have to start cutting players as well, which is going to be tough. But if we look at our players who are free agents, you have Deontay Harris, PJ Williams. So this actually isn't a terrible list of free agents. I can actually like comfortably lose all these guys and be kind of fine. I wouldn't mind keeping Deontay Harris, obviously, but we do have Callaway and then we also have Chris Olave, Chris Olave, Michael Thomas. We're not going to be able to sign Deontay Harris right now, obviously. So we pretty much have the same roster. Now, here's the tough part. Do we want to cut players to free up money, kind of go a different direction with this team is the question. So savings wise, we could cut Marshawn Lattimore, which I'm not going to do. That makes no sense. Bradley Roby would cut and free up about $10 million. I mean, that's going to be the first cap casualty right there. Bradley Roby, you're going to cut him, free up that $10 million. Makes too much sense in the world. Davenport, 25. Can't see myself doing that. Ryan Ramchek, uh, he is our best offensive lineman. Only 20 years old, so I definitely can't see myself doing that either. We have a one-year contract left on David here. We can free up $7 million by cutting him. I think we're going to have to do that. So, David, I apologize, but we are going to cut you as well. So, we're just freeing up money. And then Cameron Jordan's got two years left, but he's a longtime Saint. I'd feel really bad if I did cut him. So 
even with cutting all those guys i really don't think i freed up all that much money regardless the draft is going to have to be our best friend once again in this 2023 draft uh defense was the biggest problem apparently so we're gonna have to try to get better in that regard so what about demario davis i know Mar De demario davis is kind of old he only would save us about eight four million dollars by doing that so probably better off just keeping him honestly so this free agency could be a wash but we did make a little bit of decisions as far as like freeing up some money obviously didn't free up any money where we could sign anybody but we might be stuck with this team right now because there's really not going to be any avenues to get better we might have to wait till players contracts are a little bit easier to cut away so we take a look at this roster after all those cuts we just made so offensive line still not bad offensively i think we're good james winston also went to star development so honestly i do like james winston going forward he actually had a really good season for us Taysom hill was actually really solid at tight end so i might just continue to have him there and then Chris Olave and Marquez Callaway. I, I didn't want Chris Olave to continue to be like the secondary wide receiver. Defensively, this is where we kind of lost some guys. So obviously we cut a couple of corners, but do we do have Alante Taylor and then we also have Paul Adibo. So, and then Matthew. So not too bad. Then Pete Warner actually went to start development as well, which is good. So we like that. And then our right outside linebacker definitely needs some work and especially our interior linemen. Uh, so definitely some things we need to clean up and take care of. So defensively is probably where i'll primarily focus i don't really know what our draft pick situation is looking like obviously in real life the saints might have their 2023 pick but we are technically working off 2022 picks since i started from the beginning of franchise it does say we have all of our picks so i'm just going to go ahead and roll with it and we're going to go into draft and continue to get better because we really can't sign anyone obviously so we're just going to go to the draft and uh, maybe i shouldn't have cut all those players that i did uh maybe david we shouldn't have cut but i was comfortable cutting roby but we're going to go to the draft now and we're going to get better and then hopefully next offseason we'll have more money to get better but for now just focus on the draft so actually now that i think about it i don't think the saints have their first round pick because of that eagles trade they made to, in order to get those two picks in this year's draft but i won't worry about it today when we do the new look saints rebuild i will fix that and make sure i like i said it's gonna be ultra realistic where we don't have the picks we're not supposed to have but today i won't worry about it too much so round one pick number 12 because we need avenues to get better it's kind of a mess right now so uh, we definitely could use another corner. So Jalen Jones out of Texas and m definitely makes sense. Will Anderson also makes sense though, low key. So uh, definitely. And then we could take a quarterback and Harrison Bailey, but I would, wouldn't mind just rolling with Jameis Winston low key. So Jalen Jones or Will Anderson sounds like it's going to be the pick here. We also have Ojolari. We don't need safeties. That's the last thing we need. So I think I'm going to look at Will Anderson and Jalen Jones. It could be between one of those guys. So we did just lose a corner. We do have three corners we just drafted once so we can rely on javante taylor i think our defensive line our linebacker cores though is kind of the worst so i might take will anderson here he's got b tackle c zone don't know his man coverage but uh a finesse moves i am going to go ahead and take will anderson here with my first round pick and be happy with that so take will anderson to add either to the defensive line or obviously he's going to be a linebacker for us just depending on where he fits better so round two pick number 12 Let's see if we can get it round two. So we got Zach Zenter going right before us. So you have Demon Clowney. I know I could throw him on the defensive line for sure. Kron Pronti. I, I'm not I'm like I'm not totally opposed to the corners I have now, obviously, but we have Walker, we have Jalen Carter, we have Dequil and Roy. We need defensive tackles really bad. So I know Walker's actually hidden development. So I might go ahead and take Walker here, even though we really don't need edge, to be honest with you. I don't know if we could get away with like maybe moving Cameron Jordan to defensive tackle just because he's a little bit bigger. And I might do that because this gives me a guaranteed start development player. So I'm going to go ahead and take Walker here. And I know he's in development. So I'm definitely happy with that pick. So welcome to the Saints Walker. And then round three, pick number 12. If I get lucky and Roy or Carter are still here, then I'm going to take them. So at round three, pick number 12. Let's see what we get. So MJ Sherman goes right before we're about to select, which doesn't bother me too much. Do have a couple corners on the board, so it wouldn't be a terrible idea to take a corner. But I do want to go ahead and take a look if those guys made it. So you have CJ Johnson, Devin Richardson. Do we have any defensive? Damonte Capehart, I know for sure, is uh, hidden development. So and we do need a D tackle really bad. So I might take him. I would have mind of Jaquan Roy, but I'm going to go ahead and take Damonte Capehart. He is a good fit for us. So welcome to the New Orleans Saints. I'm happy with that selection. We got ourselves a defensive tackle a and a linebacker and then we'll probably make one more selection before we head out so round four pick number 12 i might go corner here to be honest with you so at cornerback let's see what we can get so at number at corner we got wide receiver eric we got woody washington ej williams so i'm gonna look at woody washington here he's got a catching c man c zone so he's really just a solid corner so we're gonna add another solid corner to our 
uh, roster, and that is going to be my draft. So, uh, obviously, really couldn't get better in free agency whatsoever, so we really had to focus on the draft. Technically, technically I wasn't even supposed to have these picks from because of the Eagles trade, but like I said, in the future rebuild when we do the new look Saints, uh, we'll go ahead and be ultra realistic and get rid of those draft picks. But for now, I'm happy with what we got. So going into this season, this is what our team's about to look like. So Taysom Hill is a 69 overall, so he won't be playing tight end for us this year. But we have Chris Olave, Michael Thomas, Marquez Callaway, Alvin Kamara, Mark Ingram, Jameis Winston, Taysom will be the fullback, and then Ryan Ramchek, Ruiz McCoy, Pete, and then Trevor Pinning. Defensively, we definitely have a really good depth as far as getting after the quarterback for sure. So we have Will Anderson, Walker. We moved Cameron Jordan to tackle Demonte Capehart, Marcus Davenport. So Will Anderson's definitely better fit of going after the quarterback, it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and put him on the D-line instead of putting him at linebacker for this scheme. And then Tyron Matthew, CJ Gardner Johnson as well. So corners definitely could be upgraded, but I'll rely on Adebao. Uh, Paul Adebo and then uh, Amante Taylor and then Marshawn Lattimore. So let's go ahead and simulate this season. Probably more work to be done in the offseason, but let's go ahead and see if Jameis Winston and this new and improved defense can get us to the playoffs. So at the end of the season, we literally repeat our record at eight and nine. So once again, we still aren't making the playoffs. So still not really working out in our favor, but we're just going to have to continue to and strive to get better. So one thing I know I set myself up for this year is Desmond Ritter read the league in touchdown, looks like, by the way. But offense was 18th in the NFL. James Winston still not bad. Defense was 31st in the NFL. So defense still not great. But James Winston, 28 and 12. Rushing wise, Alvin Kamara, 24 rushing touchdowns. Receiving Michael Thomas, Chris Olave did their thing. Troutman, 670 yards. Trick One Smith was 658 yards. Defensively, sacks wise, we had 11 from Jordan, 8.5 from Davenport, even Ton. I don't even know how to say his name, but. Damn, that's a name. Uh, that's a crazy name. But seven and a half sacks, five and a half from Walker, two from Pete Warner, and then one and a half from Demario Davis. And then Tyron Matthew got a sack and 88 tackles. And then CJ Gardner Johnson with ha one and a half sacks and 91 tackles as well. So definitely, definitely disappointing. We have not been in the playoffs yet, but we will keep striving to get there. So looks like we're gonna have a little bit more cap space than last year, but it's just a matter of freeing up even more to get better because this free agency could probably be better. So. Don't really know who's going to be a free agent this offseason. We have $39 million, which is a lot better. Uh, so I'm going to have to resign Tyron Matthew, I think. Cameron Jordan might be a free agent here as well. And honestly, might move on from him. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's go to our negotiation stage and see who's all a free agent. So we have Garner Johnson, Marcus Davenport, Aaron McCord, Jameis Winston. Damn, that's a crazy free agency class. Okay. So Traquan Smith, Marcus Callaway. All right. So obviously... I think CJ Gardner Johnson played slot corner for us. So I definitely wouldn't mind bringing him back. Davenport, same thing. Keep the depth on the D line. Eric McCoy, same thing. James Winston, same thing. And Callaway, literally the same thing. So, ah, this is going to be tough. But I think 100% kind of want to keep my identity on the defensive line. So, Jamin or Marcus Davenport, he's back. So, we got Marcus Davenport. Eric McCoy, we need some type of offensive lineman. So, I'm going to go with Eric McCoy. Don't really know how much money James Winston's going to ask for if we take a look real quick. Okay, it's nothing terrible, but I mean, if we're gonna have to, re if we're gonna be able to resign everyone, we're literally gonna have to go cut somebody. So CJ Gardner Johnson, I do want back. I think he's a huge part of what we do on defense. So get CJ Gardner Johnson back, and then Marquez Callaway and Traquan Smith. I don't want to lose both of them, so I am gonna go ahead and try to get Marquez Callaway back. Jameis Winston, if I'm gonna resign Jameis Winston, I'm gonna have to make a cut on the defense. I know that for a fact, or even offense. So let's see. So not that much money. Jameis Winston's a free agent. Let's see how much money I could technically free up if I cut anybody right here because we don't have a quarterback. We don't keep Jameis Winston. So we could cut $14 million by cutting away Cameron Jordan. Ooh, that's a tough decision. Andrus Pete, same thing. Demario Davis, same thing. So I could free up probably about $31 million right there if I'm, my math does me right. So that's about $32, $33 million if I cut all three of those guys, which would obviously be, be detrimental. But, I mean, we did draft defensive line heavily. I would hate to do this, but uh, I might trade Cameron Jordan instead of cutting him. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut Andrus Pete. And I'm going to cut Demario Davis, I think. So, I'm going to cut Demario Davis, free up $8 million. I'm going to cut Andrus Pete, free up about $9 million. And I'm going to trade away Cameron Jordan because I feel like Cameron Jordan would still have a little bit of trade value. So, if we trade away Cameron Jordan, which won't let me do it right now. So, hopefully, we can resign Jameis Winston after this. Uh, so let's go ahead, or if I can resign Jameis Winston now, that'd be great. And then get something for Cameron Jordan, like a pick or something. So Jameis Winston, 
Looks like we could sign him up for a little bit and then we should be able to free up. Oh, maybe not. Let's see. I want to have to franchise tag Jameis Winston. He's back. Okay, so we get Winston to still be our quarterback. Probably our best option, to be honest with you. Uh, that'll be at least cheaper. So, all right. Now it is time to trade away Cameron Jordan and then figure out the rest in free agency. So I'm trading him to the Philadelphia Eagles for a round two draft pick. That way we have a uh, value there. So we get rid of Cameron Jordan. We free up a little bit of money. Reason why we did that, I know Cameron Jordan's definitely a huge identity for what the Saints do, but man, we we addressed defensive line heavily in the draft, so I just feel like it was the best thing to do going forward. So I still like my wide receiver core. I still like my offense. My offensive line is fine, even though we cut Andrews Pete. James Hurst can come in here and be our left guard, and we'll have to just work with it. So defensively, kind of where we got worse. So Pete Warner, superstar dev, which is awesome. But now we can go ahead and move like Walker, defensive tackle, if we wanted to. And then we, we could have like a full defensive line. So I'm cool. I'm cool with that. So I'm going to move Walker to defensive tackle. Uh, yeah, I mean, he, he could play it. So we'll move Walker defensive tackle. That way we have a full defensive line, young defensive line that's going to be able to make it work. So we do cut Cameron Jordan and we kept Marcus Davenport. So now we have a full defensive line that's all young and definitely ready to go after the quarterback, which we love. But linebacker core is where it's really bad. So we definitely need to get some coverage linebackers. Lost to Mario Davis. But we definitely need to go get a linebacker. So let's go do that because we have our defensive line. Our cornerbacks could be better. Our safeties are great. Offensively, we're good enough. Our linebackers are probably what's been holding us back throughout this video. So let's go see if I can walk away with at least one good coverage linebacker. So if there's one in free agency anyway. So Terry McLaurin, Jeffrey Simmons. We got Deron Payne. Uh, so, I mean, we could resign. We could have cut Cameron Jordan, resigned Deron Payne, something like that. And then Jenkins, or we could technically change the scheme, but terrain Tremaine Edmonds almost seems perfect. Is he even good in coverage? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, Bill General pass coverage. He's not bad. So I'm uh, Tremaine Edmonds might be my number one target here because we do need a middle linebacker. Levante David would fit nicely as well, but we have Bobby, and then of course you have Demario Davis. Uh, as far as other linebackers, we have Pete Warner, which I like. But if we can get Tremaine Edmonds in free agency, that would be huge. Nicholas Morrow. And then Tremaine Edmonds, and then we got Smoot, but yeah, none of these guys really fit all that well. Kim Davis, I mean, is literally a 25-year-old sitting here, so if I could get him after as well for depth or a starter, we'll go for that. But Tremaine Edmonds, my number one target here. So if I get Tremaine Edmonds, pair him alongside Pete Werner, I'd be ecstatic with that. So Tremaine Edmonds, no one offer like crazy. So now I'm going to see if I can walk away with the Kim here as well. Um, looks like we're not going to be able to offer him too much. Actually, that's way too much money. Uh, so I'll offer this probably not gonna be able to get him zero total points uh, So probably not going to accept that but if we get Tremaine Edmonds in free agency That is fine We cut Cameron Jordan and or we trade Cameron Jordan for a second and we're gonna get Tremaine Edmonds Hopefully hopefully we get him anyway. He's gonna be perfect here and he does get uh, We do get Tremaine Edmonds to be our brand new middle linebacker So pretty much our number one priority in the draft or if we wanted to make a trade But we really don't have that much money to do so but Tremaine Edmonds, now we need a left outside linebacker and honestly could use another corner as well. So maybe number one pick in the draft is corner and then we go linebacker in second round or we make a trade, which uh, we could do that as well. I wouldn't mind doing that low key. So let's go ahead and uh, maybe make a trade just to kind of put us over the top because I'm ready to make the damn playoffs in this video. So I'm trading a second, a third, and a third in order to get Jalen Johnson to bring him over to the Saints to be one of our brand new corners. So just like that, we have ourselves a brand new corner to add on to the defense. So that should help out our defense as well. And then we have our first round pick in the draft to hopefully draft a linebacker that will fit perfectly in our scheme. I don't know if that's going to be out here, but we got to pretty much hope and pray that it is here. So outside linebacker 100 the number one priority going into the draft and just hope he's freaking good enough to do it or i guess we could try to move will anderson back to linebacker and hope it works out but defensively we got better with tremaine Edmonds and now jalen johnson so now we can go to round one pick number 14 and hope we get a coverage linebacker here if we can find one so looking at round one pick number 14 you have max johnson you have kamani judge which we can maybe try to move him to like outside linebacker if he can cover so we might just do that, honestly. We'll see. But I don't know if there's anybody else. So if we take a look at Jamon or Kamani Judge here, we got don't know his coverage, which sucks. Uh A player condition, B impact block, B finesse moves. So I don't know his coverage at all. So I have to hope he's good at covering. But we'll take a look at left and outside real quick before we go any further. So Max Johnson also here. I could draft a quarterback, but I'm not going to do that. So you have Brian Rivera. Okay. 
So I think Kamani Judge might be my best opportunity. So I'm going to go ahead and take my man Judge here. Hope he's good. He is going to be hidden development. So we don't know his coverage yet, but I'm going to have to hope. Yeah, still didn't show me. Okay. Well, we're going to get out of the draft now. We pretty much Actually, we still have a second round pick because of that Cameron Jordan trade. So let's try or let's draft round two. Pick number 14 and see what we can get here. And then after this, we'll be done. So we have Logan Loya, Darren Turner. So two wide receivers on the board, which I wouldn't po totally be opposed to because don't know how long uh, Michael Thomas will be here. So we look at both these wide receivers. We have question marks and we don't know. So A, awareness, A, break, B, ball carrier vision, B, break tackle, D, medium route. We'll take him. He is normal dev, but he may not get a lot of play time this year. Anyway, that is going to be my picks. And that is our off season, which I think was a really good one. So now we finally, finally might be ready to make the postseason. Let's get it. So going into this season, Jameis Winston is the quarterback, but it looks like the Saints went ahead and grabbed a quarterback in round four to compete with Jameis Winston, which actually isn't a terrible idea. But this is our wide receiver core. And Loya actually ended up being a 75 overall, which isn't too bad. Adam Troutman, Taysom Hill. Here's your offensive line. Defensively, we got Judge in. Okay, so Judge, let's take a look at his stats because I still haven't looked at it. And then Jalen Johnson, obviously, was our other huge addition. But if you look at Judge here, uh, run stopper, coverage isn't the greatest. But let's see. Let's see what his coverage is exactly. So we got 58 man. And then zone, it does not show me unless if I just don't see it because I'm an idiot. I don't know. But, I mean, we might still move him over and hope he just develops, I guess. That's the best thing we can really hope for. So, I'm going to move him to right outside linebacker because, I mean, we kind of need someone there. And this will be better than what we have. So, I'll move Judge over there because that'll be the linebacker I just got. And uh, we'll have to hope he's good enough and doesn't, uh, you know, get burned all the time. But... Uh, he probably will, but defensively, we got better, I think. And then, yeah, I, I like this. And then, if, I guess we could change the scheme if we wanted to, but 4 3 is what I usually like to run. I like 4 3s more than I like 3 4s, but we could be a base 3 4 with an 85% scheme fit, I guess. But I don't know, man. I, I feel like I just might leave it the way it was. So, 4 6 defense. I'm going to go back to base 4 3 because that's kind of where we're at right now, kind of how I've drafted. So, we're going to go ahead and submit this season, and we're going to have to hope this team can finally get into the playoffs. I imagine they'll be able to. I love my young defensive line. I love Tyron Matthew here. Jalen Johnson was an excellent addition. Jermaine Edmonds was a great addition of free agency. So hopefully this team can make the playoffs. So at the end of the season, we finally won one more game than we have in the whole video, and that ends up getting us into the postseason. So I will take it. Our division was actually really freaking good. Buccaneers 13-4, and Panthers 12-5. and We went 9-8, and while the Falcons went 9-8 and as well. So yeah. Definitely a tough playoff run that was, but we got it. So I will take that. And uh, if we go take a look at our stats this year and kind of see how we did. So uh, week 18 win against the Giants was definitely really clutch. If we didn't win that, I imagine we wouldn't be here right now. So sack leaders. I don't think I see anybody on the Saints anywhere. So Marshawn Lattimore is on there, which is awesome. All right, let's go take a look at our stats real quick for the season and see how we were on both sides of the ball. Offense was 50 in the NFL. Has defense gotten any better? It is. Uh. 24. So yeah, I think it's gotten better because I think it's been the 30th. Davis Winston, wow. 45 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. He saw the Saints drafted a quarterback. He's like, nah, man, this is my job. So Jameis Winston, solid year. Rushing wise, Alvin Kamara still been solid like he has been throughout the whole video. Receiving wise, Thomas, 1,500 yards, 12 touchdowns. Olave, 800 yards. Troutman with 800 yards. 700 for Kamara and 700 from Callaway. Defensively wise, sacks wise, we had eight and a half from Walker, eight and a half from Davenport. Seven from Kate Hart and then Turner with five. So it looks like my young defensive line got after the quarterback, which we absolutely love. CJ Gardner Johnson and then CJ Clark also half a sack. Interception, six from Lattimore, five from Tremaine Edmonds, four from Gardner Johnson, two from Jalen Johnson, two from my man Tyron Matthew with 96 tackles. Tyron Matthew been the anchor on this defense. Hasn't shown up a lot in this video, but he has definitely been solid. Marcus May, two interceptions as well. So I think we have the team to definitely upset for the 49ers here, but it's just a matter of being able to do that. So let's jump right into this bad boy and see if we can come in to San Francisco and upset this team. So wild card weekend going up against the San Francisco 49ers, Trey Lance at QB. Can we come out here and upset the 49ers? And we start off with getting a stop and we do not get a score to start things off. Winston get good field position, still nothing though. 49ers are going to put up a field goal. So we're still in this position to take the game. It's 3-3. Three three. Okay, go get a score, Winston. Come on. There we go. 10-3. 49ers still ain't scoring so far. Okay. And now we're up 17-3. Looking good. 17-10. Don't let them back in this game, Jameis. Go get a score, baby. 
17 to 17. I trust in Jameis Winston. Get the ball here. Good field position. 24. Get it again. It's 31 17 with a minute left. Don't give them the ball back, and we're chilling. And just like that, we beat the San Francisco 49ers 31 to 24. And now we are on to the division round. Let's go, Jameis Winston. The divisional round is here, and now we get a divisional opponent. Looks like they took Max Johnson. We passed up on him. We could have taken him, but of course, I've just rolling with Jameis Winston here. Let's see if I made a mistake. Division rival here. Can we beat the Carolina Panthers? We start off with the football, and we do not score. Panthers will do so, though. It's 7-0, to zero, but we are going to respond with a field goal. And now we have the Panthers up 14-3. to three. And now we put, you know, kick another field goal. Can we go up and get a touchdown at all in this half? No. It's 6-24. to 24. It's 13. Wow, they quickly responded after our score. And safe to say that we're probably about to lose this game, it looks like. Okay, well, you know what? To end off the video, I'm just going to try to come out here and score a touchdown because I like doing that. So... We are going to lose in division round to the Carolina Panthers, but I'm still pretty satisfied with how this video went. I think we did a decent job, all things considered. So I think I have Chris Olave here, a nice little gain there. So that's a nice little dot we have there. All right, let's keep it going. I don't want to do the slip screen. I'm actually going to look for Troutman here on this out route if he's there. I also have Kamara as well. I also have X streaking down the field, Marquez Callaway. I'm going to get out of bounds. I don't think it really matters at this point, but... We'll just continue to do so. So, so far, a few dots to get us in range of kicking a or getting a touchdown, I should say. Chris Olave on this corner route. Corner is late there, but it's not open. I'm going to scramble, and I'm just going to throw this because James Winston's actually a little, you know, a little too slow to scramble any further. So, going to throw that away. All right. I don't want to I don't want to run the football. I'm just going to just continue to chuck it downfield. So, they're playing deep coverage. So, I might actually be able to get one of these slants to work out, maybe. So, Michael Thomas... Slant King, as they used to call him. I have Michael Thomas here. That's going to be... Never mind. My players ran into each other, so that did not lead to anything. All right. We are third and 10 at the 16. We have Nick Vanette. We have all of our subs out here. We have Alvin Kamara on a wheel route. All right. Let's see what's open. I'm going to throw it to Alvin Kamara, and that is going to be... Literally could have been intercepted. Wait. Why do I have a backup quarterback throwing that? I'm so confused. I'm so confused why a backup QB was just throwing that. Well, you know what? It is what it is. It's fine. I'm not even going to think about it. Okay. I might have to just scramble this. Can I get the first down? Oh, my. He really recovered that like that? Really? Are you serious? I mean, it didn't matter. We lost anyway, but wow. Okay. I mean, I went for the first down. It didn't work out, but... We are going to lose in divisional round to the Carolina Panthers, and that is how this video is going to end. Uh, let me know what you guys think about Tyron Matthew to the New Orleans Saints. So tomorrow will be the official start, unless if, like, Odell Beckham signs, I guess. We might just do a video on that as well. But tomorrow, uh, we should, as long as nothing else happens, be here with a new look Jets rebuild. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy. This is Crushables. I'm saying peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.